Langflow is a great way to build AI applications, including agents, MCP servers, and more, while rapidly iterating using the Visual IDE. In our discussion today, we're going to look at how you can host this so you can expose it over an API and use it in any user interface. And to start with, let's just take a look at Langflow running locally. This is Langflow running locally via this command, docker run port 7860, 7860 Langflow. If you run this command right now, you'll get Langflow running locally like this. This is just local Langflow. And we start a new flow, maybe a basic prompting flow, and that's it. I'm ready. All I need to do is paste an API key and I can chat with this. I can go to the playground and say hello to a chatbot. But if I want to publish this and maybe expose API access, this is only local. So I can't expose this over the internet. Look, it's it's on 0000, which is um, a local host address. This is a loopback address, but it's very similar to local host. This is not going to be accessible over the internet. In this video, we're going to look at how we can expose this over the internet so you can use it anywhere you want. To start with, well, let's take a look at a GitHub repo that makes deploying Langflow or hosting Langflow very easy. So this is the repo you're going to want to pay attention to. Uh, Datastacks slash host Langflow on GitHub. It's open source and public. And um, it has instructions, but we'll just walk through it here. What you're going to do is fork this immediately. As soon as you fork it, you'll have your own fork that you can bring to deployment platforms like Flight Control, Render, and more. Fly.io. Fly.io is another um, easy deployment platform. It's really great. And so we're going to go to Fly.io, go to our dashboard, and we have no apps yet. So we launch an app, find a GitHub repository. Again, we just take our fork. So select repository. This is my fork here. Um, we need to customize this a little bit because you need a bit more power than Fly gives you. So again, internal port 7860. And you need a bit more power. So what does that mean? Well, machine sizes, let's get a performance 2x machine or performance 1x, but I want something fast. And for Langflow, you need a minimum of two gigabytes of memory, but we'll do four gigabytes here, why not? And so this is gonna go off and deploy. Fly.io is launched. Your Fly.io launch was a success. Let's visit our app right here. And boom, we have Langflow, how cool. Um, not only do we have Langflow, it's hosted with host-langflow.fly.dev right now. I can create my first flow. Let's do a basic prompting flow. Um, so I'm gonna click on that and here it exists. Again, I just drop my API key and I go to the playground and I can chat. And if I, I can publish an MCP server too, or I can publish API access. And look at this, the URL is now HTTPS host langflow.fly.dev. It's, it's ready. It's ready to be consumed by any front end on fly.io. This is how you can make Langflow accessible over the internet and build great things. If you're wondering about what you can build with Langflow, well, this YouTube channel has a lot of suggestions about that. We also have a blog and social media. Follow us on X and Discord. There's links under the like button for ideas about what you can build and now what you can expose over the internet as MCP servers, AI agents, or more. We can't wait to see what you build and we look forward to being part of the conversation. See you next time.